السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله we thank Allah the Almighty the Lord of glory the Lord of honor we ask him to continue to bless the night the leader of mankind Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and his household and the companions may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless each and every one of us who listen us the uh, program the reminder this Ramadan is on again what we want to take a look at is the Quran, it means to Allah. We've all heard about the word Quran. The Quran itself means a reciter. That is something that is recited, something that is read, something that is studied. That's the meaning of Al-Quran. Quran is more than what you see when you see a copy of the Quran. Quran is the word of Allah who created the heavens and the earth. The one who created you and created me and created all that exists. That is what is the word is the Quran. How do you know Allah? We know Allah and his greatness, his wisdom in two ways. The first one is through the creation. The second is through the revelation. The creation, when you examine what Allah has created in the heavens and the earth and sea and everywhere, you see signs of the existence of Allah. You see the creative might of our Lord, Allah. You may appreciate how great Allah is through his creatures, but you can't know how to get closer to him, how to worship him and relate with him, except through the revelation. This is why we need two things, to know Allah and to get close to him. If we don't serve him, then our life is meaningless. Worship to life is like the soul to the body. When there is no soul in the body, the body becomes lifeless, a corpse. Then you don't have anything to do with the body than to bury it. Now, how do you get closer to Allah? You get closer to Him through something that has come from Him. That is, the Quran is what? The Quran is to be recited. The Quran is to be read. The Quran is to be memorized. The Quran is to be studied. Allah Azza wa Jal, our Lord and God, has preferred us greatly. We know that there are creations of Allah known as the angels. We may not see them. They see us. Allah has given them many things, but he has not given them the Qur'an. This is why whenever the Qur'an is being recited on earth, the angels long to be in the gathering where the Qur'an is recited. The Qur'an, when we are reciting it, for example, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا قَالَ الْإِمَامُ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِينَ فَقُولُوا آمِينَ فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ وَافَقَ تَأْمِينُهُ تَأْمِينَ الْمَلَاهِكَةِ غُفْرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِن ذَنْبِ when you are praying, you are behind the Imam, and the Imam gets to the point where he says, Try to say, Amen. If your army and that of an angel coincide, you have all your past sins forgiven. In the Quran, too, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the Quran chapter 17, verse 69. Allah tells the Prophet, He says, in the, in the night, take some part of the night. Be. Use the Quran to observe the Hajjud, night prayer. Asa an Mahmuda. Allah will raise you to a position, a station of honor and glory. If you want Allah to raise you to the position of honor and glory, you need the Quran. And you need to recite it, especially in the night. And another thing with the Quran is when you recite it, the Prophet used to say, Man min kitabillah. Anyone who recites just a letter from the word of Allah as a reward. And the reward is ten rewards. But do you know what? The Quran is not meant just to be recited. The Quran is meant for its message. If you must live in this world, then you must be ready to abide by the word of the Lord of the world. What is the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tabaraka ladhi nazzala al-furqan ala abdihi liyakuna lil'alameena nazira. That's the first verse of Quran chapter 25. Allah says, Blessed is the one who has sent down the Quran to his servant, that is Muhammad, liyakuna lil'alameena nazira. 
in order to be a warner for the whole world, for all creatures. So the Quran is meant for everybody. We have to learn the message of the Quran. We have to study it. This is the month of Ramadan. Let's make sure we read the Quran. And as we read, let us try to learn the meaning so that we'll be able to apply it. Recitation is not education in any part of the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the light of the Quran. May Allah make it a source of guidance for us in this world. And may Allah facilitate for us to apply the message of the Quran. And may Allah grant us the good of this world, the good of hereafter. May He safeguard us from the punishment of the hellfire. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Habibi, 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 Habibi,